In this video, we will guide you through creating a realistic winter forest house scene in Unreal Engine 5. Discover how simple lighting techniques and carefully chosen assets can transform a basic setup into a dramatic, immersive environment. First let's open a project in Unreal Engine 5.5 project and create a new third-person level named as Forest House. Then click on the Fab plugin on Content Browser and open our Asset Library to download related asset packs for our scene. The environments are available in Fab Marketplace under the Freshcan 3D Asset Packs. After we download the asset packs let's go into the Oak Forest Environment folder and open the Winter Snow Map under the Map folder. After that we are enabling the snow by changing the parameter from 0 to 1 by using Material Parameter Collection. Snow Enable. Now we disabled the exponential fog in the scene and need to find a good spot in Oak Forest Map to create our scene. Before starting to add things on the map, first we need to check our landscape layers from our landscape material and add new layers to let us more control over the textures over landscape by using paint tools. By this way we can get rid of the grass and the rocks we don't need and create pathways on our landscape. Let's copy the existing material functions that connected to our landscape blend node and then rename them as pathway and snow with no grass. Now we have to click on our new material functions and rename and regroup all the parameters in them. Otherwise we wouldn't see those parameters on our main landscape material instance and then couldn't control the tiling, textures and so on. Therefore, we need to change all the name of the parameters first. Let's open the master material of the landscape and from there we can add layers to our materials to paint the landscape. In order to do that, we need to use landscape layer blend node and add new layers using this node. After that we can add our new material functions. Let's plug these new material functions to the landscape layer blend node to introduce our new paint layers. Now we could see our new paint layers after selecting the paint tab under the landscape mode. By clicking plus icon on the right side, you can introduce the layer and then you can paint the landscape. Now that everything is ready. We can start putting our houses from Village Houses Environment Pack. In this step we are mostly focusing on creating a main composition to our scene and we will add details later. Using the Landscape Sculpt feature, we are shaping the terrain to seamlessly align it with the building's base. After placing our buildings and tidying up the surroundings, we can position a cinematic camera to establish the recording angles. Additionally, we will enhance the details in the areas visible to the camera. But for now let's put it in that way and continue to add more buildings to our environment. By painting path using our path layer, we are determining placement of the other houses in surroundings. Now we are adding new houses and new camera angles with accordingly to our paths we draw it. By using foliage paint tool we delete the trees and rocks which are colliding with the houses. After the placement, we continue to paint the base of the building with our path layer. Now we can add our second camera angle. After placing other buildings, paths, and the cameras, our scene is roughly ready. Now we can move on with the lighting settings. In lighting, first we need to delete default placed lights in the scene. After everywhere is dark, we can add our new directional light. Make the directional light movable and after let's arrange its angle in order to emphasize our focal point which is our first house. Now we can add sky atmosphere and skylight to the scene. Make both of them movable. Make sure you enable the real-time capture in skylight details. 
In Unreal Engine 5.5 there is an odd issue of lighting that makes shadows too dark. We can manage to get rid of that by enabling two-sided distance field option from Tree Static Mesh Details panel. Because of that, let's enable two-sided distance field generation of all trees. When everything is settled. Let's add volumetric clouds to the scene. It seems useless for the lighting at first but it affects the skylight when we enable real-time capture and make the skylight grayer. In order to make the sky more overcast look, let's increase the Mie scattering scale value a bit. Now we need exponential fog to create dramatic lighting effect to our scene. In order to get more control over exponential fog, let's reduce the color values and make the sky atmosphere contribution to zero. Now our lighting is ready. It doesn't affect our scene as much as we expected. But we cannot only trust the lighting to create good looking scene. Therefore, we need to add colors and more details to the scene around our camera view to get dramatic, good looking results. To do this, let's start with changing the color of the house. I will make the color blue, because later I will add autumn trees into the scene and I would like to create contrast among the buildings and the trees. Since everything is ready, we can add our autumn trees with different colors. I add different size of trees to create hierarchy to emphasize the building from our camera view. Moreover, I will bury some tree trunk to the ground for making their canopy more visible to the audience. By this way, we will have a composition of repetitive trunks on foreground and on background we will see the colorful canopies, which make us pleasant while looking to the view. I also paint the landscape with no grass layer to create variations on ground. Because sometimes deleting the overcrowded areas create more complex look to our scene. After that we can also add some props to the foreground to strengthen the story of our scene. Let's add some leftover furnitures and bottles telling us a simple story for our shot. Now we can check our other camera angles and in order to get more realistic ambient occlusion, shadows, and lighting, we need to enable hardware ray tracing from project settings under rendering tab. We are now also adding our autumn trees and details to other camera angles. In order to get camera shots we need to add level sequence in our content browser. Level Sequencer is a great feature of Unreal Engine and makes it very easy to take shots. You can find the Level Sequencer by right-clicking to Content Browser, under the Cinematic tab. Let's add Level Sequencer in our Content Browser. Now we need to add our cameras to the Level Sequencer. You can drag the camera from World Outliner and simply drop to the Level Sequencer. We can arrange our camera by simply using the Transform tab under our Cine Camera Actor. It defines the current location of the camera and makes the animation very simple. Our scene seems a bit dark for me and I will arrange the exposure by changing Exposure Compensation parameter under our Post Process volume. We can also play with exposure a bit more from Local Exposure parameters. Exposure is the most important parameter for lighting our scene, since it affects the atmosphere at most. In order to get high quality shots, we need to enable Movie Render Queue from Plugins tab. After enabling Movie Render Queue feature, we can reach to Movie Render Queue settings from Windows panel under Cinematics. Now let's add our level sequencer to Movie Render Queue. By enabling anti-aliasing from settings and increase the value of sample counts, we can get higher quality shots. 
If engine crashes while rendering with movie render queue, try enabling game overrides and disable flush grass streaming. Now we all set and we can get our renders by clicking the render tab. Thanks for watching our tutorial. If you like this video and want more similar content like this, please subscribe our YouTube channel.